But fuck that. Disneyland! <laughs> Altamira? Yes. The side quest island. So this Tons is this of game. ladies for zealous to hoard to. Oh, god damn it. Ladies frighten me. <laughs> Won't say why, huh? Well, you don't want to talk about it? That's your business. So, Ultimera, is this game's golden saucer? Uh, there's plot elements. Yeah. A few plot <laughs> elements here and there, but ultimately, sidetracks. Sidetrack. Side quest. Plus, the shops here are pretty good. Alright. Hi, honey. <laughs> Then Zelos rips off his clothing and reveals a speedo. He, All right. That can't be one of his Time costumes. to go to work. That is one of his <laughs> Zelos just tattoos a giant S on his chest. Super whore. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's awfully, uh... That sticks out. Don't it? <laughs> it's almost like it's going to be a plot of him. Now, you can rest in Ultimira, but you can't access the nightlife yet. You have to wait till a certain event passes. This is a giant teardrop in the center. No. Yeah, man, it looks like, like a teardrop. It does. I didn't realize that. You'll cry at our prices. <laughs> 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 now, there's a daytime section and a nighttime section to Ultimira. We can't activate the nighttime yet. So we can only do daytime stuff, like shopping and stuff. Is the time of the day something that changes within Ultimira, or...? If you go to bed, it's nighttime. Oh, okay. Here we gain new so you weapons. So you like, really don't sleep. <laughs> you just wake up in the middle of the night. There's two separate recipes for the Lunar Ring, which I make one up. There's a Flame Dagger, but I'm lacking Black Silver. Halberd, but I'm lacking Decreasing Axe. I realize I don't have it in my inventory. Fuck me. And the Bear Claw. Bear Claw. <laughs> you have a weapon and a pastry. Delicious. I don't think I've ever had a Bear Claw. Oh, it's, it's, I, I don't think Bear Claw itself is a pastry. I think Bear Claw is like a spice. No, I think Bear Claw is a pastry. Hmm. Specifically, something chocolate. You know, it's kind of like the Boston Cream at Dunkin' Donuts, only it's longer. It's kind of like a hot dog bun. Anyway, there's a Defensor, which actually has some defensive points to Lloyd. And I do a lot of fucking shopping here. Especially with the armors. I really wish you would show off what I would buy some times up. Uh, sometimes you take six or seven minutes wandering around in inventory. I'm sorry. <laughs> At the very least, I try and leave in a bit of showing off the image because you seem to have a habit of buying stuff and then like scrolling through each character to see what you've bought, but you don't do that all the time. All right. So the best I can tell the audience to do if they're watching this and not listening to it is background noise, whatever. Uh, imagination. Yeah, <laughs> use your imagination. I bought a crease and action from the store and got the halberd. I got the halberd for Persea. There's also another weapon I could have gotten for Lloyd, but I didn't have any black silver on me. Oops. This here's floor four. That's an exceptional, I think. But I think around nighttime, fourth or fifth floor, you find the Wonder Chef. Only at nighttime, though. Yeah. <laughs> the Wonder Chef's a gambler. <laughs> here Wonder Chef's a night owl. <laughs> I really like Altamira, though, as a whole. Like, it really conveys, like, an ideal tropical resort kind of thing. Like, you know, you're out for a weekend at the Bahamas or something. Or rather, Florida, to be honest. You can't go up to the fourth or fifth floor at daytime either, because um, that's only reserved for night guests. <sighs> well, the, the location I get, uh, resort, music, I get a festival sort of feeling. Right. Ultimere is, while it does have some serious story, while it does have some story elements to it, Ultimere is ultimately the uh, kick off the shoes and relax kind of place. Now, during the day, you could go to the amusement park. I have no idea what the amusement park does. I ain't never bothered with it. All I do is talk to the women there. You don't want to play the Midway games? You'd rather just flaunt your magical penis? <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> they try to throw this. They play the game of rank toss, except Zelos is hard on his one of the things they came for. Ladies only. <laughs> Ooh, a mascot. The sound you're hearing is actually a roller coaster going on above town. Okay. That's all he gets, bread. <laughs> Just gonna feed it to the pigeons. 
I think she just called you a pigeon stool, man. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> There's teacups. You, you can actually, I think, ride these in the HD version, but you need to get the free pass to do it. And in order to get that, you have to win it from the casino. And I don't give a fuck. I'm always bad at gambling games when it comes to that shit, so... You must have a free pass. Now, it's only called free pass because free indicates that you can take all the rides for free. Yeah. And not because the pass itself is free. Right. Otherwise, why the fuck bother with the pass in the first place? Exactly. <laughs> We're done here for now. I've already whored off to two women. Yeah, at the very least, you get to see what this place looks like. And I got and I got the um, roll. That's a really yeah, okay. <laughs> we got something from this, ladies and gentlemen. A piece of fucking bread. Now I'm going to the Lazzarino Company. That was a really boring roller coaster. In it. Woo woo woo. <laughs> Let's woo. go in a circle for eight times. No loops. No hills. <laughs> the NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> I come here just to whore off Zell, so, uh... This is another hotel. No, it's the, uh, it's a business, it's a business corporation. And that's nice to go for Zell, or Zell to go pick up checks. We're starting a new company here. We're calling ourselves tentatively Shinra. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> nah, that's stupid. Yevon. <laughs> They start as a business conglomerate first? <laughs> when did the whole religious practice come in? When Cthulhu Moby Dick came around. <laughs> I suppose so. I could go to the beach and whore him off some more, but I think I'm... Nope, never done. <laughs> nope, my magical penis points this way. It's like the master emerald radar. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that one bit for Family Guy where Quagmire, is, Quagmire gets dragged around by his dick? He's like, whoa! <laughs> I never remember that's a guy. <laughs> Why did you lie to me? <laughs> because I didn't see the 5 o'clock shadow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm imagining a Batman transition where a giant dick flies up and back <laughs> That will get me flagged, I'm sorry. <laughs> that will get your ass <laughs> You take fucking forever in there. You, when you meet up a Regal, he has a massive sunburn. <laughs> Regal got a tan. Yeah. <laughs> you may call me. Are you done? Please say yes. <laughs> I have a bronze... The, the ladies keep calling me a bronzed god. Some other guy picked a fight with me for it. I look over here to try to figure out how the fuck I get my mini map back. I don't think in any Final Fantasy game I bother, bother changing the window color. I totally do it in Tales games. No, Final Fantasy VII I do sometimes whenever I want to get a little creative with it. Well, with the, the blue window? Yeah. You know what? It's it's weird because, uh, I, you know, you play the uh, old school Final Fantasy games. You know, I start with four. Uh, I played six. I played seven, all that. Those always had the blue windows. And then nine, uh, well, starting with eight, it made the default gray, and nine continued that. But, but I can't change it to blue because it just looks off. You I'm can't change it to blue because it looks off in nine? I, I, yeah, you can change it to blue if you want to. It's just that I, do. I don't because it looks off. I do. It looks just fine. Uh, I think I think um, if it's not the white border with the the gradient window, mm -hmm. uh, I just I didn't like it works. I like the gray default scheme more than nine. I realized recently also I managed to get me the uh, emerald ring from one of the bosses I must have beat. I think it was the previous boss, which reduces my TP consumption by one third. Nice. <laughs> Give that to my mage. Although really I should have given it to Lloyd. Well, considering all the special moves you use. Oh, yeah. Another heist of guidance. And another woman does flaunt my penis at. That's a man. And then he gives you a miracle <laughs> job. <laughs> There's another chef here. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry, cook. Which is like chef. See what I mean? You have to show him, like, a certain wardrobe change with Regal. I keep thinking of Wonder Chefs in this dungeon, in this place, so... <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> this place. <Ugh. laughs> My penis made me find you. <laughs> Thank you. Giggity. <laughs> I forget what the front door is. No time to pet the kitty. That's a cat? That's a cat. Now... 
the area technically is to the right of the uh, Renegade base, I think. But I don't remember that. So it's just some sightseeing. <laughs> All because you forgot the button to the mini map. <laughs> All because I forgot the button to the main map, yes. There's my next destination after I, all this nonsense. Ooh, such a grandiose looking place. It's Flanor. Flanor. Hey, what's that over there? Well, I do believe it's radiated soil. So oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go touch it. Whoa. Oh. It's Kratos. He's singing to himself. <laughs> uh, I was just looking at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie! Okay, then how about... I was scheming how to get rid of those that are in Lord Yggdrasil's way. Now, are you satisfied? That brings a human element <laughs> to the face of evil here. That's better. Wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> I got a kick out of this, though. Like I said, it's such a it's such a humane side to the evil here, where he just goes, I'm looking at the sky. It looks nice. Dick. <laughs> By the way, that also gives you a bonus point for Kratos. Despite them being enemies now? Yeah. And <laughs> now die. <laughs> ice spiders. Nothing bad. Spiders encased in ice. Attaboy. That's them in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. I feel so Oddly enough, not weak to fire. Not weak to fire? Yeah. This some funny throwing me on a loop. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm now back on with the Dragon Tooth again because I just wanted the defensor for the sake of um completion. Plus, it looks really fucking cool if you use it in battle, too. I got over limit now with the skills that I have equipped here. However, I also realized something else, too. This is also putting him a little too far into T territory from S territory for me, where I like him as a T type. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's pretty okay, obvious. Okay, it's all Flanor. Yeah, it, it, that's pretty obvious, so you don't have to worry. You know, it's as long as it's not moving, fuck your ultimate weapon. <laughs> ultimate weapon. Oh, yeah. Seven. Like, I know all... I think I just jumped off the rear and now it's crashing <laughs> into the scene. Lloyd! I jumped too early. I'm falling down. <laughs> and return to the screeching trap. Oh, God damn it! Guys, what do you think? I gave them all names. <laughs> I would have gone insane hearing this shit. Or I'll hit you in the head with my fucking axe! Observe. Yeah, I sure. No, I evaporated him. Yeah, <laughs> he he can just come back. <laughs> Worthless. What? Worthless. All the unicorns that she's pure. I think there's like some sort of like uh, parody here going on with the whole. It was um, I think it was a bit of a parody thing with the overabundance of sin or sloppy script writing. But the last line there was pretty cool. I'll drag you to hell with me. Boy, if I didn't get Hojo vibes from this guy earlier, that the mana cannon definitely sealed it in. Yeah, but not exactly complete Hojo, just Hojo vibes. Oh, he's fucking Hojo. Oh, okay. Well. He is Hojo under a different name. Meanwhile, dragons. Oh, these are the things I kidnapped uh, Colette. Now we can beat them up. We didn't need all that per se. <laughs> yeah, seriously. These things. I have no intention of becoming a part of the food chain a fight. Yeah, we're humans, we're at the top of it. Yeah. And it shall stay that way. Have at ye. Meanwhile. Oh the fuck did the Remember that hole in the side? Yeah. It's <laughs> like, hey guys! What's going on over here? Battle? I'm betting on the wing it's dragon. Yeah, the only attack it has really, I think, is like nest crack and maybe a chomp or two, which yeah. is really ground dasher with a different name. Uh, these things hit like trucks on the higher difficulties, especially on the higher difficulties. They kind of hit hard now, to be perfectly honest. Like 270 a pop on my house, like 2100. 
Oh! Is that winged dragon like a serpent? No, it's a dragon. It's a dragon? Does it realize it's kind of limiting itself by only exposing its head? Well, it has to actually come out and fight somehow. Does it stay in that tube the entire fight? Yes. <laughs> it's kind of stuck in there, dude. <laughs> it's kind of comical. Ah, Ground Dasher! Like I said, this thing is rather... It can be really fucking nasty on the higher difficulties. They hit, like... They, fu they hit really fucking Well, hard. I expect... The Dragon Tooth I have equipped on Lloyd gives him bonus damage against Dragon Monsters, so... Oh, okay. That's why I have that equipped. So... Well, dragon enemies, I expect some sort of challenge from. I usually associate dragons with being difficult. Right. The dragons. Yeah. That's a cool anyway. Ow! Are they magic resistant? No. Ow. <laughs> Get the hell out of the way. <laughs> Can you avoid that by jumping? No. If the head slams you at all, you're getting hit. But, or rather, like I said, the head slams you. If, if well, you're it, it, off the ground and the head slam comes down, you're safe. Yeah, th that's what I just said. You could jump oh, to avoid it. Sorry. Yeah. I, misunder I misunderstood what you said. Tevis Thrust is one of my learned level 3 techniques. Basically, you do a temp you do a short range Tempest. Like, you don't go anywhere, and then you could land with a hurt with a Stonic Thrust. So it's like a jumping spin. Mm -hmm. Only you go straight up instead of going in an arc. Or say I gained the Axeman title. I don't know what makes that different than the others. I think it's because I changed your weapons around a lot. I don't remember. Also, um. hell is that? <laughs> Purple Bro is a bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gained a Venom, which <laughs> which um, <laughs> is a weapon for Regal, and I gained a Flare Cape for Fire and uh, Earth Defense. Now Colette's really, now Colette's inferiority complex really ramped up with Rodile. She's also learned how to she's master ventriloquist now, not even moving her lips. <laughs> Anything wrong? What's wrong is this system that demands the sacrifice of the chosen. You know, if there was if there was more of a high def graphic game, that would probably make that would probably be easier to see the struggle. But on low def graphics and shit like that, it's real hard to see. Yeah, it's all coming in stilted. Hey. What's up with the ground? We have to get out of here. Lloyd, I. Colette, you have to live. This time we're not taking no for an answer. Goodbye. <laughs> huh. That was a real odd island out in the middle Snow of the Snow what was that light that threatened to engulf us? Yeah, it was an ominous one. <sighs> Does that become an underwater optional nope. dungeon? Nope. Oh, that's usually what I expect. This game loves subverting expectations. I'm still alive. Who cares? But, <laughs> looks like everyone's all right. But for what purpose did that Rodile character kidnap Colette? He said he needed a Crucius crystal in order to control the mannequin. But apparently, mine didn't work. Because we stopped, even though we did all the trials and tribulations Being required, it never fully Heimer completed itself. No. Cannon. So it's sort of an incomplete ca crystal. Persever crystal. Crystal. This crystal's worthless. Oh, wait, 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 then. So. When Colette became a mime, or a mute, that wasn't completing it? Yes, and no, it completed it for the sake of the pilgrimage. Just as I thought. At least, kind of think of it. Hmm. I think maybe it was just that Colette's maybe weaker, I guess? I don't know. Huh. I'd probably get more clarity on that if I played the game myself, but from a viewer's perspective, it just looks... Oh, wait a minute, I thought the act of Colette becoming a mute was the Crucius Crystal becoming complete. Right. But apparently now there's just, just different power levels of Crucius Crystals. My Crucius Crystals is better than yours. <laughs> yeah, right. What? Um, yes, sure, that's fine. Professor, is something wrong? It's nothing. Anyway, let's get going. Alright, just keep saying that. She's, it's, you know, no, not for nothing, Matt. She's starting to piss me off with that. Yeah, I know. Me too. It's so after a good night's sleep, we're going to the next dungeon. And we already got teleported there. The Temple of the Earth. And here we learn Zal's is good at math.
Looks like I'm enjoying these pop tarts tonight. <laughs> <laughs> got the third answer wrong. <laughs> I love this bit, though. It all shows up the little shit. The skilled hawk lets himself fly free. He even knows Proverbs. I think he just made that one up, though. Yeah. <laughs> he scored a 501 in that test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pour myself off in the dungeon, Matt. <laughs> oh, this mountainside's awfully resistant to my charm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's our next destination? The Temple of Earth. Alright. Venom's actually weaker than the Bear Claw I got, so fuck it. I'll tell you, though, we are making... In terms of progressing through temples and stuff... We uh, also managed to get a Ghost Shell. Yeah. Reduces your luck by 10, but it actually is Dark Attribute, so you can actually use Dark Attacks with that. Considering how fucking hard shadow magic is to really obtain in this game, that's a welcoming thing. When you said earlier that Tethiala also has four temples in, in parallel to Silverron, uh, we're definitely going through these temples faster than we did in Silverron, if only because we have access to greater technology, say the Reihards, and because you're more buffed out. Right. You know, because it took us until like part 28 or 9 to finally clear all the temples in Silveron, and then when you said there's four more temples, I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, it could be like 24, 30 more parts. But no, we're actually clearing these temples relatively fast until the end. I also gained my very first EX gem level 4, which is really one of some of the best EX gems you can equip in the game. I decided to give it to Genus because I'm sort of done with his level 1 gem. Well, what does he get for EX gem level 4s? Immunity, speed cast, speed spell save, and what was that? Speed charge. A speed charge. Or spell charge. Spell, spell charge. Spell charge. All right. It now, if he spell save is if he casts the same spell twice in a row, it decreases the time. Spell charge, I f I'm trying to remember how this works. I think it's like if you get interrupted, or if you could, you could use the interrupt your spell, then run away further, and then resume to the same spell casting time. Oh, so you hold the charge. Right. Okay. That said, we're going to go down to the Temple of Earth and find one of, our one of my favorite summon spirits next time.